All right, guys, in a personal box for JLHM 2017 Leaf Best of Baseball. Let's see, he's hit a Willie McCovey tonight, a Roboito Clemente, and let's see what we got here. And a Mike Trout one, and a Trout. Got AJ Puck. And your hit is New School. 2012 Bo McCrome Garrett Cole. PSA 9. Uh, rookie Auto. It's a blue refractor auto. And out of 150. About a buck fifty. Uh, Chen's going to clear out the case. It's time to make some sweet ass hits. All right, Chester. Three boxes left. JL is gonna clear out the rest of the case. <laughs> he would. First one. Whoa, there we go. One on one, Nolan Ryan. That don't hurt. But I'll make sure you you're good to go to. And the hit is going to be nice. 1973 rookie third baseman Mike Schmidt, John uh, Hilton, and Ron C. But we're looking at the Mike Schmidt there. PSA five. And next box. Uh, 
Out of 35, Ian Anderson. And the next one's going to be 1968 Tops Red Rookies, Johnny Bench. Is he sporting the backwards hat? Catch your set. Nice. PSA 7. What's that go for? And fifth hit. Omar Vizquel. Derek Jeter, nice. That's a $400 card there. I'll make up some of those others. 1993. Stadium Club. Derek Jeter Murphy. Gem in 10. Damn. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for grabbing those. I want to see what that bench goes for. Yeah, that bench goes for 282. Last one sold at auction, 282 on that bench. Murphy Jeter sells well too. For buying or selling? For buying, auctioning all day long. For selling, you want to do probably the best offer. Auctions can be brutal. Seen a lot of shit go too low. But then again, if you want to sell fast. Most of my nicer cards, like three, four, or five hundred dollar cards, I'll I'll throw a probe steam, let them auction them off, get a get a better bang for the buck, bid wise and exposure wise. Uh, it's called probe steam. So probe steam is a is a auction house. So basically, what they what do you do is you send your cards into them, and they sell them for you, and they take a couple percent. Usually, it's not that much more than you pay your own eBay account for some of them, and they get a hell of a lot more people looking at their listings, and they feel more secure. And, and the big thing is you don't have to have the headache of collecting and dealing with the headache of selling at eBay. And they you know send you a check or they PayPal you the money when it uh, sells. I sent about ten grand worth of cards last couple months to them. They're fast. They list, man. They list like the same same day they get it usually. Some like fifty cards, and they had them all listed within like a day. All right. 
I think we got Prime Donruss Sigs now. I'm sorry, Donruss Sigs. Yeah, I'll send you some more info. It's good for some things. It's, it's good for no, not others. I wouldn't. I wouldn't post your basketball in there, but they they don't do fixed listings. It's all auctions, so. I'll hit you up and we'll discuss if you got any questions about how to flip that puppy fast for the most. Yeah, so Chin, just say, you know, say you get those packages. Or hell, I can mail stuff in for you. So basically what you do is you just put your cards in a box. I inventory mine. Send it off to them. So you can specify if you want to start at a certain level. But usually I start all mine at 99 cents. And once it sells, it takes them about a week to pay out, collecting all that. Hey, my pleasure, Oscars. No problem, man. Yeah, so basketball, soccer. It's good for football. Football, all day long. Baseball, all day long. I made the mistake of sending a Pele jersey in there, and it just didn't do as good as I wanted to, and I think it, international bidding had a little bit to do with it. But then a lot of them do uh, the drop boxes, so I don't know. I don't know. Like the COMC.